Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Sugar Mama TV. If you haven't already subscribed, please make sure you do. I have been making so many videos over the last couple of weeks and I'm going to be uploading them over the next couple of months. And there are so many great nuggets of gold, so make sure you subscribe so that you get all these nuggets of gold. Alright, moving on. This video is actually a subscriber request video. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to make this, but it's here. And it is how to be successful when you are starting with nothing. Now, I actually believe that when you start from nothing, it's actually a blessing in disguise. It's really very exciting because it's like turning over a new leaf. You're starting afresh. You get to rebuild from this point forward. And everything that you do from this point forward, you get to feel really proud about it. You're going to do things differently. You're going to do things better because you're wiser, stronger, and more intuitive. You are going to rebuild a bigger and better world for yourself when you rebuild from nothing. Now, I don't care whether you are rebuilding from nothing because you went through a really horrible divorce. It doesn't matter whether you went through bankruptcy or maybe you're simply watching this video because you are fresh out of school or college or uni and you want to build an amazing future ahead of yourself and don't have anything right now. It doesn't matter. I'm excited for you because from this point forward, things are only going to get better. Now, starting from nothing is hard. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You're going to need to get down and dirty, pull up those sleeves and use a lot of elbow grease to change your situation. But you're going to be fine. In fact, you're going to be better than fine. And whilst I say staying from nothing is hard, staying with nothing and remaining in that miserable, dark, sad place where you always only have nothing is much harder. So make the decision that you're going to get out of this rut. So I'm going to now guide you through seven easy steps that I want you to follow. Step number one, I want you to realize being broke isn't really that bad. Some of the best moments in my life where I've been so incredibly happy, I have been completely poor. I remember one night I didn't have enough money for food, so I scrounged through my car and found all these like gold coins and silver coins and I had just enough to get a chocolate waffle and I had a massive chocolate craving that night. And I went with my friend at the time to go get chocolate waffles and she was in the same situation, like she was scrounging through her car as well. And we got to the, we got our waffles, we got them in takeaway containers, we were walking out. I trip over. My waffle flies across the street, smashes up against a car, like there was chocolate sauce everywhere, waffle everywhere. The waffle is in the gutter, covered in leaves and dirt. And there is actually a part of me thinks, it's okay, I can brush it off and eat it. And my friend, who is just as hungry as me, has just as big a craving as me, stops me, laughs at me and says, don't be silly. And she handed me her waffle and we shared it together. And we sat laughing hysterically in the gutter, sharing this beautiful waffle. Now, in the tough times, you realize who your true friends are and who aren't. It is incredibly grounding experience. If you've been living with a big ego or with a lot of arrogance or overconfidence, being broke brings you back down to earth. It makes you stop and realize what is really important in your life. Like things like having good health, having people around you, having some sort of spiritual connection, whether it be a religion or whether it be just a way of life, a sense of mindfulness, a consciousness of the people around you and their feelings and their contributions and the beauty behind those people. Also being broke makes you tougher, wiser and stronger, which is where I'm going to lead you to the next stage. And that is groundwork. Why are you starting from nothing? You need to have a, a conversation with yourself and understand where you went wrong or what habits have you got in place at the moment that are working against you in achieving your goals and dreams. What lessons have you learned? Have you, have you become wiser? What more information do you have? Are you now more knowledgeable? How about your gut? Are you a lot more intuitive now from going through certain experiences? This is where you need to really have a look at the big picture as to where you are right now and why. And work out what needs to be changed to get you to where you want to be. Now one of the most important things when it comes to this, this stage of doing the groundwork is look at your attitude. Like I said, you do not want to wallow in the self-pity or being a victim. I really believe that life is 20% of what we get dealt with and 80% of how we deal with it. We all have challenging moments. We have tough you know, phases with our relationships or tough financial problems. It's 
just a part of life but you need to be strong and rise above the pettiness and look always for a solution try and see the glass being half full try and see the blessing in the disguise know that there is always light at the tunnel by having a really strong happy healthy attitude it will help make dealing with challenges so much easier because challenges are always ahead of us nobody lives a perfect life and you have got to stop and realize that no matter what what you see on social media no one is perfect and no one leads a, a perfect life so do the groundwork that you need to do for yourself to get to where you want to be when you do this properly the other phases are going to be so much more enjoyable and you're going to see so much more progress and efficiency in your life all right the next phase is goal time this is exciting you get to be creative you get to think about what you want in your future what are your dreams what are your goals what are you excited about actively working towards now, there's no point having meaningless goals you know you need to it needs to make your spirit and soul it, like spring to life you you want to realize even have a little whiff of it that it might be capable even though it's a massive great big dream that is so important that you, you reactivate powerful dreams with, and goals within yourself so that you feel recharged. You spring out of bed in the morning. You go to bed at night thinking about those dreams and goals and feeling that one step closer that this is really happening. You know, getting real. And you are actually way more capable than you possibly imagined. But setting meaningful goals is important. You need to feel electric when you, like an electric shock within you when you think about what you are working towards and feel so excited about that. And as I always say, these goals have got to have a deadline. Even if it means you break down that one big great goal into bite-sized, mini, achievable, manageable goals, just like I did with the $1,000 project. There was no way I would have saved and invested $36,000 if I had that as the one big goal. I just broke it down into goals of $1,000 at a time. That's all I worried about, that $1,000. And therefore, in my mind, it was achievable, and therefore, it did actually happen. So make sure your goals break them down, check in with them on a regular basis to make sure they still really are electrifying goals and give those goals deadlines. Even if you need to also break down those deadlines to, to match them to the mini goals that you're trying to achieve. This is a incredibly exciting period where you get to also be creative, dare to dream. Now the next phase is incredibly important and I want you to do this before you start putting action behind those goals and that is mental preparation. There are going to be obstacles, challenges, roadblocks, people, things that just happen in life that get in the way of you trying to achieve your goal. That's life. And the bigger the goal, sometimes the bigger the obstacle is going to be. But I want you to mentally prepare what it's going to feel like when you come across those goals and see yourself being incredibly strong, incredibly wise, incredibly rational and actually handling those challenges in a really calm and proactive way. See yourself, you know, not having enough money in your bank account and going, all right, okay, no problem. I'm going to now go home and find this way of coming up with groceries for the dinner that night. I want you to see people laughing at you or bagging you out or bullying you about your goal. And I want you to see yourself being really calm going, doesn't matter what those people think. I'm working towards this goal. I'm excited about this goal. And I'm, I'm marching to the beat of my own drum. I want you to see yourself not reacting to those situations or circumstances, rising above them, becoming wiser and stronger. Now this is going to help you so much when those obstacles come because you will automatically step into that zone of when those things happen. So think about the obstacles and challenges that could potentially come your way. Obviously we don't want to subconsciously create them, but see yourself being really strong, rising above it, and it's just like water off a duck's back when it happens so that you can keep progressing forward and see those goals become your reality. So obviously the next phase is action. It is game day. You are going to put those actions behind what you need to do to achieve those goals. Leave no stone unturned. Think about everything that you need to do to make those goals. And remember, even just those mini goals become a reality with that deadline. Get creative, open your brain, open your mind. Do not say no to anything unless you really, it is you know actually toxic or damaging to your well-being. You've 
got to progress forward. It is going to be tough. It is going to be tired, tiring. You're going to feel sore. You're going to feel flat, but it's okay because you will feel so good. And what will recharge you is seeing and feeling the progress that you are making in your life. You are actually, yes, you are tired, but you are that one step closer to achieving that goal. And that is going to feel so good that it will wash away those negative feelings that you are experiencing. The next phase is something I want you to do continuously through as you work towards your goal and that you are putting those as you are putting those actions behind those goals. And that is feed your brain. Don't just put this tunnel vision into, into achieving your brain, into achieving your goals, I should say. I want you, whilst you're achieving your goals, I want you to have an open mind. I want you to constantly expose yourself to inspiration, motivation, and determination, because that is going to give you the energy, as well as the feeling of progress, to keep going with your game plan and really fine tune those goals that you're working towards. Now, when you do this, you start to get a new perspective and a more energized attitude and a healthier perspective on what you're working towards. You will realize that you are not alone. You will realize that actually those times where you are exhausted, you are flat, you are potentially even out of ideas and, and energy, that this is actually part of the process and it's actually perfectly normal and it's actually a sign that you are actually doing the best job you can, which is going to give you that feeling that is so incredibly value and that valuable and that is that feeling of pride and satisfaction. Now also when you open your mind, you will start to listen and hear and see other ideas and other levels of inspiration which are going to help you in achieving your goals. So constantly read books, listen to podcasts, watch videos on YouTube, have conversations with inspiring people, even create your own imaginary mentor if that's what you have to do. But feed that brain so that you're recharged and re-energized and open to the magnificence of the what the world can provide us when we are open and we are receiving. And then the final phase, as you are progressing towards achieving your goals and rebuilding yourself from nothing and feeling fantastic, and that is review. Check in with yourself. How are you feeling? Are you feeling good? Build on that. Harvest that. Like Nurture that feeling. Look at the things that you're doing. What is working? What is working really well? What is not working as much as you would like, but feel that it could still get better? What do you need to change? Constantly look to tweak, improve, review what you are doing. You want to be constantly look at ways to become more and more efficient. Now, I did this with the $1,000 project. I constantly looked at what was making the most amount of money with the minimum amount of effort. Obviously, I was aware I only have a certain amount of energy, and even that, that feeling of progress gave that gave me even more energy I wanted to be as efficient as possible I didn't I had a goal that I was really determined to make and I had a deadline as well so I constantly reviewed what was working whilst also saying yes to everything that was possible that came my way I remained open but you've got to look back and look at this like an engine what are the parts of the engine that are working really well and how can we fix those parts of the engine so that they're even more powerful and even more efficient and not just help you achieve your goals but over achieve your goals now I really hope this video helps you in knowing that there is nothing wrong with rebuilding from nothing you definitely can do it if you've done it in the past you'll do it all over again and the other day someone really special to me sent me a message and they said it was a quote and it said if you can love the wrong person so much imagine how much you can love the right person so think of it that way if you have got it wrong in the past and you're now stronger and wiser and smarter imagine that the magnificence that you can create ahead of you starting right now so get on that path of rebuilding yourself pick yourself up again brush yourself off head up shoulders back and charge forward into achieving your new goals and put action behind those goals and feel great about yourself. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Make sure you just, ah, subscribe. I always can struggle to say that word. And as always, you can follow me on Sugar Mama TV for Instagram. And you can also see inside my personal life as well at Canna Sass. Have a fantastic week, guys, and I'll see you later on. Ciao for now.